Let us begin with our first company is AutoGuard, and here is Dr. Paul Davids. Thank you very much for the privilege to be here, and thank you, Sharks, for letting me introduce to you AutoGuard International. I am Paul Davis. I'm the owner and operator of AutoGuard International, also the inventor and ma uh, manufacturer of all our waterless cleaning wax products. In my personal history, I was the youngest executive chef ever in the state of Florida. 54 years ago, God called me into the ministry, and as a pastor started five churches, 30 schools, and two colleges. As far as a business is concerned, I started four different businesses. One is an asphalt company that my son runs now. I'm too fat and lazy. And <laughs> then we uh, have two other businesses that I started and sold. And then again, I have AutoGuard International. I say again because I had to, I sold it, I thought I sold it two years ago. And I had to take it back uh, just two months ago. And so we're starting on another restart. But we have a great future uh, ahead of us. We started AutoGuard International because of a challenge that was given to me uh, some 20 years ago. I was uh, doing some PR work for my son at a company down in Reynolds, Georgia. And uh, he come to me and we, we were doing some asphalt work down there and the manager was walking back and forth. And I said to him, a friend of mine, Billy, I said, Billy, what's the matter? He said, oh, he said, these tree huggers. Well, I didn't care much for them now, but I love them now. And I, and I said, what's the problem? He said, they won't let us wash our trucks out on the job anymore. He said, I wish somebody would come up with a waterless car wash. Well, we did. We come up with AutoGuard, and it took us three and a half years to put it together and throw it away and put it together and throw it away, and we finally came up with it. And I said to my wife one day, I said, honey, if this stuff's any good, we can go to California and back again and never spend a dime of our own money. So I loaded her in a 28-foot truck, and we went across on 20, come back on 40, had an empty truck, money in my pocket, so I think we'll put it on the market. So that's what we did. So you might ask, what is, what is AutoGuard? AutoGuard is definitely just a wipe on and wipe off. As a, I had a demonstration out there showing that we remove oxidation, clean and wax a vehicle, and never use a drop of water. It's, uh, we we uh, use it as on anything from an automobile to an airplane. Every private pilot that's ever used it has said our fuel consumption goes down because it takes the drag off of the leading edges. It's very important that we think about our conversation nowadays concerning water, because water is a commodity that we're losing. If you listen to California, you hear they're having a tremendous time without water. Mm -hmm. And a time here in Georgia, <coughs> once we also had a time without water, when Georgia Tech took on AutoGuard and used it there at their place. Uh, if a person washes his car at home, they use anywhere from 10 gallons of water per minute. And with a half an hour, you've wasted over 300 gallons of water. Just think what some corporations waste, I mean use, uh, when they try to wash some of their trucks. And so we're, we're hoping and we're looking to move into uh, the corporate uh, factor of, of showing and showing them how to use AutoGuard and possibly putting teams on the, on the site to clean their vehicles with. It's a, the, the, the vision that we have is one that is that to not only that AutoGuard and AeroGuard is used at home and around the country, but it's used also in government. And because government vehicles uh, should be nice looking, clean looking, because that's the first thing that you see when you're, when you're an employee or drives you <coughs> to a business, they look at your car. Uh, the other thing is the military. We are the only product today allowed to be used on the F-15 and F-16 canopies. We were tested by the uh, Sierra and San Mar Corporation. You also tested other products such as McGuire's and nobody could pass the test but us and so that's in writing. And so we're really thankful uh, that we have that type of a, of a in endorsement. And we market our products by having a strong executive sales team. We are looking for uh, men who and ladies who are interested in, in aggressively going after a market that's hardly touched. We will be uh, having a, a very attractive uh, e-commerce site, and we are having people on staff to see that it's kept up with the social media so that we are worldwide with, with our product. We also have a, a team on now that is looking to place at AutoGuard plants in every state of the union because it's no, no use to shipping water all over the place. 
So we're looking to put a plant in every state of the union. Plus, we have a, a man right now working on putting auto guard plants in other countries. We're working on Peru right now. A man's there in Peru working on uh, investors that are wanting to put a plant there. Our future is very strong. We have a strong operating managers. We have a, a team that of manufacturers to be sure that the quality of every product, when we have 16 of them, of every product that goes out is the quality that you need at your place. Not only that, but we have a 100% money back guarantee and in our 20 years have never had to give a dime back at any time. So we, we feel like that when corporations see the quality, see the need of saving water and putting this into their, into their business, it will be a million dollar business within a year's time and within three years, probably in 12 to 15, and in two, five years we would like to be a 20 million dollar company. We're located in Lawrenceville, Georgia. We'd love to have you come up and see us and there'll be a tour of the plant. God bless you. And if you have any questions, it's my privilege. Great. Thank you, Paul. Awesome. Okay, Emily, why don't you start us off? The ROI. So from a corporate standpoint, Doing the right thing is always good, but doing the thing that can save money, that will be even more powerful. Can you speak a little bit about how the economics will work from the corporate buyer standpoint? How they can save money? Mm -hmm. Well, it's more of, it's only saving money, but saving water also. That's, the, that's one of the biggest things, because they do waste a tremendous amount of water. And by coming into and having corporate vehicles, Coca-Cola's got a lot of cars and trucks, uh, AT&T, these different companies have these different vehicles and they're taking them to car washers and places like that. Not only that, it's a deterrent to the car. A vehicle oxidizes when you wash it with soap because soap has oils in it you and I can't see. Oil doesn't breathe. Paint has to breathe. When the oil is left on it, the paint doesn't breathe. It oxidizes. The, the, the quality of the vehicle and the reselling of the vehicle goes down. We use all raw products. And when, you use it, when we use it, it keeps the quality of the car up. And as far as uh, saving money, I'm going to still go back to the, to the thing of if we save water, we'll be saving money uh, because of the cost. And I think in, in certainly California you brought up is a great example where not only are there actual costs, but the optics, and even in some cases potentially law, I remember back in the drought in Georgia, you weren't supposed to be washing your car. So That's right. Um, that, that could be a good market. To we had a time here in Georgia when they couldn't wash cars. Mm -hmm. a policeman yeah. stopped me one time because we were cleaning a car, and he said, how come you're washing cars? I said, I'm not, I'm cleaning them. And I had to introduce all the cars. <laughs> 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 but if, if you could actually, if you could provide the buyer with the quantification, mm -hmm. it might help your sale. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 so the quantification of typical car wash would use this many gallons of water, which would cost this much money, on the other hand, this bottle would wash this many cars. Your ROI doing this is better than using the water. Good question. This, this bottle retails for $14.95, $15. Uh, I have a Chrysler uh, van. This will clean my van five times. Uh, on an airplane, a two-seater airplane, it takes about three quarts to clean a two-seater airplane. They buy it by the gallon, it's cheaper, but I won't tell them that. And uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, the... the, 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 the the more you use, the less you use, if you understand what I'm saying. Once you've got the oxidation removed off your vehicles, and this is in corporate, very much so in, in corporate vehicles, uh, because they let anybody do it, and sometimes, and, and when you invest in, in vehicles, you, you talk about <coughs> the return on a vehicle. I uh, showed Lawrenceville Auto Parts up here, they had a car they was trying to sell for $800. I went over and cleaned it with Auto Guard, they sold it for, for $1,200 instead, just because it was, brought up to where it is. It's not as much as saving the money as it is saving the, the conservation and, uh, and, and looking towards the future. Allison. Very interesting. I, I love your story, the, the water savings, the fuel consumption aspect of it that you mentioned, you know, being able to quantitate that. Uh, I also think that there's a value in talking about the fact that this would appear to be a non-abrasive cleaner. Uh, Very much so. Well, we have a product in here, somebody said, well, that's going to scratch my car. Uh, if you look at our website, you'll see million dollar vehicles use it uh, because we don't scratch the car. Uh, and, uh, and we have a product in here, the second we touch a vehicle with our product, it lifts the dirt up, wraps it up so it's never dirt again. Mm -hmm. if, if, that, uh, if I were a, 
a you know classic car buck, the fact that it's non-abrasive uh, is a very high value benefit that, right. that might strengthen your selling story. Um, what what is the your cost for that bottle? You sell that bottle for fourteen ninety five? Yes, ma'am. We we run a little less than a twenty five percent manufacturing cost on all our products. So. Um, do you anticipate selling this through conventional retail outlets? I mean, what, what is your distribution strategy? My dis our distribution strategy is at volume. We're, we're looking at, uh, at volume. A man asked me, he said, well, will you private label it? I said, I sell product. I don't sell labels. So we'll also private label for, for anybody. But we're looking at distribution. Uh, we should be in, in all automotive aftermarket stores. Mm -hmm. uh, we should be in the, in the government uh, purchasing. Uh, and I figured exactly about what that uh, GSA or something, I forget what it is. We should be, we were in there at one time. As I said, I sold it two years ago and I had to take it back. So I got to go back after that market gotcha. and get that. So, no so as you look for investors, you want to build a sales team. Gotcha. You're strengthening your e-commerce platform. You're looking to develop local, local manufacturing capability. What's your number one priority? My, I, I would say introducing it or having, having the product be known a little bit better. Okay. If we can produce, I, I, you know, how much can you produce, how much can you sell? Uh, you know, we, we, we don't have that problem. Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking at, with the, with the money that we're seeking, we are looking at uh, getting some bottling machine and uh, labeling machines and a capping machine. Mm -hmm. That would help us to produce a little, to, to get it on the market a little bit faster. Okay. Well, I, I like the idea of trying to get some endorsements. The fact that it is non-abrasive and it protects the canopy of an F-15 aircraft, right. you may also be able to get them from some of the high-end cars if they can rec be recommended as protecting the paint while at the same time being a good cleaner. Those things give people a reason to believe yes, and a willingness to pay what is a premium for a product, you know, given alternatives that might be things like turtle wax that, Very good. Or, or other things that don't, don't nearly measure up. Michael Andretti asked me, he said, I, we, we invited us to Indianapolis and we were there in the pit. He said, I'd like to get your name on my car. And I said, yeah, I would too. He says, only $250,000. I said, Michael, I can't even spell that much. Let's give it to you. you know? so, uh, but uh, the, we were able to take a picture of his car with our name on it. And it was on the, on the website. And That's so, great. Uh, we, Those things we, are very valuable for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. We, 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 we went after NASCAR. And uh, as, as I said, I've been in ministry 54 years. so I. I'm not a marketing man, uh, and, uh, and so I didn't quite understand. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. <laughs> I'm learning, you see, Larry, Larry taught me. You know? and, uh, and so we, uh, uh, we, we had, a, had a person fly in from Japan, and he said, Mr. Davis, you got a lot of copycats, but nobody has the products you have. And if I'd have been as smart then as I'm half as smart now, we'd have had a plan in Japan. I just didn't know. Do so that's that's what we're looking for. Scott. Yeah. Um, Paul, I really love the passion that you bring to this. I mean, you obviously love your product, and uh, I think you've done a good job thinking through how it's differentiated from other products. Um, I think it's important that somehow you get people exposed to them. I mean, the fact that it's non abrasive, I mean, people probably would believe it when they see it. I mean, somehow you got to get that message across. Um, I'm concerned about setting up a plant. You talked about setting up a plant in every state. I mean, have you gone through an analysis looking at building one plant and just doing all your volume there and shipping product versus um, building plants in each state? I mean, th th there's a lot of capital involved in that. Uh, yes, but we're doing it in a matter of licensing uh, other people. I, I like to put people to work. Uh, I have the privilege of raising two boys, and both of them never worked for anybody in their life. They've always been their own. And, and I love to pe teach people how to work and, and put people to work. We have a program for veterans. Uh, if there's a veteran that's not working, that doesn't have a job, uh, I'll put them to work at no, at no cost. But uh, that's that's what I want to do. And by licensing people to put plants in other states, it's putting other people to work, making money. We sell them the concentrates, so we're not being left out. It's just that I enjoy seeing other people have their own business and putting them to work. Okay. Um, I'd still look at that some more because I'm not sure if that model's going to work. But uh, well, I'd be glad to work with the you other on thing, it. And, you know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm open for to learn something. Okay. Um, the other thing I think it's really important that you think through who your ideal customer is. So really narrow in on who that person is or that company is or that corporation that can benefit most from this product. And then being a packaging person, 
Um, one of the first things I noticed when I looked at it is everything looks too much the same. Mm -hmm. It's hard to differentiate one product for automotive versus one for aerospace versus home or something like that. So, I mean, if you want to keep your cost down by using the same bottle, there may be things you can do with your label and colors and things like that, um, as well as maybe calling out the application more than you call out the company name. Mm -hmm. that, that's just something to think about. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. My, my son said to me one time, he said, Daddy, he said, you've got an ugly bottle. I said, I said, son, that's all I got. Just get up. Let me sell it a little bit, okay? So, but I understand that, yes, sir. And sometimes all boxed down to, because I've never, we, we, we're totally debt free, been debt free the whole time. Uh, and uh, we, we pay as we went. And, right. and that's the reason that we are like we are. Awesome. Wow. What a presentation. That's awesome. Hey, anybody in the audience have a quick question? Yes, in the back. Yes, I know that you say that the last couple of years might have been a little rocky because of the transition, but could you tell us what sales have been like in a good quarter? This year. Uh, sales. How, 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 this quarter. How, how this quarter? Any, Did quarter. you? Any oh, a good quarter. A good quarter, we, we do about three tanks. That's 280 gallons. Uh, it produces 2,240 bottles. At, 14, at $9 a bottle, that's over $20,000 out of one tank. Sometimes we do as many three tanks a month. Okay, great. And that's just on the one product, and we have 15 others. We just have to. Right. Yes, sir. Have you thought about putting the product on QVC or some other company? Um, yes, sir, I thought about it, and, and then I decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. So there you have it. Yes, sir. Are you trying to raise money right now or get distribution right now? I'm yes, I'm, I'm trying to do both raise money and have, and have, sometimes it's not the money, it's the who knows who know. Right. And in this day and time, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Uh, that really helps out tremendously. So money on, on, the, on the money raise side, what, what, how much money are you trying to raise and um, what valuation? I'm sorry, I missed that out and I apologize. $550,000 for 20% of the company. Okay. But if you don't want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. I, I'm wide open. God bless you. All right. Thank you so much. Hold on. We're not, you're not okay. done yet. You're not done yet. You've got to face the music. Sharks, oh, what do you think? Give us, your, uh, give us your final thoughts. Okay. I like the idea. I love the product. Um, I think I can help you with some connections. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I, I echo what's got this. Praise the Lord. I think it's great. I'm not sure whether... AT&T, I think AT&T would be looking for the numbers. I think if you can quantify it, then there are probably some introductions I could make as well. Qualify it in the manner of ROI, saving money? Saving money, exactly, exactly. Uh, saving conservation, saving water, does that mean? Well, I think it's one of those things that we would certainly like to be able to do, but it's going to be hard to spend more money than the thing that we're doing today. Well, yeah, and, and we, can, we can definitely give the figures that we wouldn't be spending much. You won't, you won't be reducing much on, on that aspect as much as you would be on the conservation, up in the quality, up in the quality of your vehicles, which is, which is reducing your cost when you sell a vehicle for, more, for as much for much That's more. That's right. I think there's a story to be had there. That's right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you for that. And I think I could be safe in saying we love your story. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.